Boy, look at that. It's another charger. Super V. I told you this place was gonna be crazy. Here's a Challenger. Watch out. The Road Runner. I do believe we found the Kudas. This ain't what I'm talking about, but look. A demon. What? 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 And are you kidding me? Okay. Are you'll still be out there. Yeah, when I'm gonna be back, here. For when a while. I get back, I'll take the ride. I can't. I won't think I got my vehicle. I got my vehicle when I took a ride. That's cool right there. Super V. Big old cutout. All right. Well, I'm gonna go walk it. Thanks for the map. No problem. I'm not gonna find you out Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be looking. I'll be here. Thank you. This place is phenomenal. I've been to quite a few places already but this place is so retarded. There's so many classics here. She said there's a whole section of Kudas and Challengers and Chargers. Uh, there's a whole GM say that the whole back of this place is nothing but Mopar, she said. That's insane. So, what we're gonna do, yeah, there's some new stuff here. There's Ford pickups, there's a Jeep, some square bodies. Over here, some stuff. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna be here for a while, but I'm trying to see what's out here. Looking for that gym or two. Got a GS400 and a Dodge four door. So, I'm gonna move my truck, she said, so I'm not messing with anything. Look at this, sitting here right next to the. Watch out. Fastback Mustang. It's it, This episode is gonna be unbelievable, guys. I know you're hearing me when I say there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. GSX Buick. Still got the engine in it. What's underneath there? I don't know, let's go. Everything back here in the back is Mopar. She said everything in the big square is classic. Cuda and stuff is. But all of this classic stuff is like GM, Ford, everything's scattered. We're still walking up the line. It was a bunch of new cars, so I cut. Now we're getting towards the classics again. The Delray, 58. 61, 62 Cadillac. Looks like it's been burnt. Another Caddy. That one looks a little bit better. GMC record truck. You can tell all oh, that's just newer stuff. A little bit of record truck stuff on the other side over there. So let's go towards the horde of Mopar. How about that? Watch out. The Soto Sportsman with the wing. Chevy truck parts. It's a Nissan. It's a wagon. It's a Ford wagon. Nothing but classic right here. It's a Jeep wagon. Four door Nova. Of 
Corvair, a 98. Well, let's get to walking, Thomas. Oldsmobile, Super 88. So I guess whether you're looking for a whole project car or just parts. Let's see here. What's beyond the fence? This place is absolutely huge. I'm going to try to walk it as fast as I can see what we can see, right? This place really is demanding of a second visit. For you to come walk it yourself, if you can, I'm sure. If you can't, then that's why I'm doing my videos. Yeah, there's more classics back here. But I think we have to go back out that way, so I'll come and look at this first. truly is an awesome place. This is like a Texas graveyard. Texas graveyard of classic cars. And as you can tell from Google Earth, this place is huge. That. That's cool, man. I just, I mean, when does it end? When does it end? Oh, this is snake country. Watch out, there's a hill here. Well, they have a lot of big trucks right here. That is. A Thunderbird in the trees right there. Studebaker. What's this? What is this? A dart or a duster? It's a duster. Dun, 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 dun. A blue duster.
Watch out. There's a challenger. Roof's cut out. It's got a good trunk. Doors. Trunk's not, not too bad. The floors are okay. Really? Not too bad at all. Looks like the frame's not bent. Somebody just cut a hole in the top of it. You can get a roof skin, just like the one I had. It's a challenger. Now, how do I get over here? Okay. Spider-Man. It's got the other door on it, too. Back fence line, that's what I wanted to see. I know I'm at the back and I'm gonna work my way up. Pretty nice day. It's only like 97 degrees out here. Only. I'm sure the snakes are hungry. They just need a nice little leg to chew on. <laughs> I'm joking guys, I'm joking. We don't need any snakes. It's a bunch of Chrysler, like she said. Newports, Peloras, all kinds of stuff. Nice 58 Continental. Probably be almost impossible to get it out of here though. Maybe not. Bunch of Lincolns. Okay. So we went through all that over there. The tough stuff. Now, and easy walking. Like Lincoln's. Lincoln's. Old parts. Doors and stuff. More Fords, Lincolns. Okay, we're going back out that fence. I'm gonna go look at the rest of those. Watch out, watch out, man. Watch out. Watch out for the cactus. She's still got an engine. Looks real complete too. Still got a tag, I seen. Sorry. She is a charger. Like 74. Not too bad, not too bad. Just a little fender damage. The roof's straight. All the glass is good. Still got a fender tag. There you go. Still got the dash.
Okay, here we are on the other side of the fence, going back down that road we came. We're gonna stop. Pull up this right quick. So it's so hot out here, my phone's overheating. So I had to let it cool down for a second. But I think we'll make it, even if I have to stop again. Great land 500. A save a wagon. So I may cut periodically like that, just because there's a lot of filler here. There's a lot to see. I don't know if you can really see these cars and bushes very well. I know everybody likes different stuff. And it's pretty much overgrown up in here. So I'm doing the best that I can. It is snake season. I'm at my house. And 
this is just too grown. So, I think we've seen this whole back area here. Actually, everything down here. And around to where she said the cooters were. Okay, now I'm sweating. Been here for at least an hour or more. Lots still more to see. Let's go. That's not weird out there. There's a Chevy wagon, four door, 57. There's another 57. Four door. There's a Pontiac wagon. A messed up 30 model. Oh, what's this on the other side? Camaro. It's a pretty sad Camaro. There's two of them. Oh, that's a Firebird. Camaro's got a good roof. The Firebird doesn't. They're both real rough. We'll just put it that way. And those fenders do not go to that car. 68 Firebird. And the tag's gone. That's 67, 68. Here's another fence line. A 
We're gonna go back and look at this a little bit and then go that way. I'm trying to get everything. There might be a few cars that we're passing out, a few little lanes, but it's hard to keep up with it. There's so much, especially your first time out here. Even with the map, it's still easy to get lost. I think I know where I'm at. left of the Lamans. Lindsay Midgets. just about as much as they weigh. They're sporty little cars though. I used to have a little, was it a Triumph Spitfire? We got a bus. Ain't got near enough windows on it, but still. Anybody wanting a bus? Got a bunch of stuff in it. That one's half price. No engine. No engine. Couple of Volkswagen bugs. Surprisingly, that's all they have. Huh. Okay, so I may have found the little nook she's talking about. I just got here, so we're gonna explore it together. Haven't seen a Cootie yet, but I think this is a Roadrunner. Well, there's a Challenger. If there's another Roadrunner or Super B, might be a Cornette. What is that? A Charger? This is the Charger? Yeah, that's the uh, 68 Dodge Charger. I wonder if they're going to let me buy this car or not. I'm sure they're going to want an arm and a leg for it. That's a cool one right there too. Probably a Super B. Look at this Dodge Charger right here. Is the door that goes with Maybe. Yeah. That's the door. Boy, look at that. Wonder if they'll let me buy it. Sixty-eight's the year I like anyway. No, oh, it's I mean it's got two doors on it. And it's got another spare door. There's a trunk lid. Hmm. Floors really don't look rotten. Top looks nice. 
other than those spots that had the lead in it. I could dig this one. It needs quarters on both sides. But the rockers, everything looks nice. Of course, the hardest part on the car to fix is rotted, as you can tell. Hmm. Send me somewhere, I'll be shopping. What is this? Super B? Tow lots, maybe? <laughs> Let's see if I can fight through this. Oh, there's another door. Ouch. No, it's not a charger door. It's either a Super B or it's a Cornet. It's another charger. This is what, a 70? No fenders. That'd be a good one too. Hard to find. What's this side of the car look like? It's fairly straight. Got the door and the glass. This one's really not as rotted. Well, it does still have a couple little points there. The whole back of the car is cut off. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Super B. That 68 Dodge Charger, though. Uh oh. There's another 68 Charger. No way. I told you this place was going to be crazy. This one's a little worse shape. Trunks right it out. Floors are cut out. Top don't look too bad though. Is the tag still on it? Nope. Tag's missing. I'm gonna go look at the other one and see if the tag's on. I don't think it is because the fender's missing. But who cares, man, who cares? Who cares? And right here across from it is a charger. She's still got the engine in. She's still got her tag. Volkswagens gets into the newer cars. So we're gonna come back over here. What do we got here? What? What? Plymouth. Probably a satellite. This Challenger. Let's 
68 Roadrunner. That's what it says. That's what I thought it was. Here's a Challenger. Blue on blue car. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, that 68 Charger doesn't have the tag. At least have a van. Yeah, I still got the van. Watch out. So we have some choices here. I wish I would have found this before I sold mine. I could have cut the top off that. <laughs> it's a nice little stash right here. See what else we can find. Okay, coming out of that little hoard. We find another charger. Complete with the engine. Still has the tag on it. Still has the VIN. Pretty much complete interior. Not too bad, not too bad. That bus has just been cut all up. Okay, so probably a New Yorker. What is this? A 71 383, either a Roadrunner or a Satellite. It's a Roadrunner. Watch out. The Roadrunner. 383 car. And the floors are in it. The top's real rough. No engine, no tag. Has the VIN though. The fender's way over here, just in case she was wondering. But hey, there's a, a 71 Roadrunner. I've got that 72 satellites in a whole lot better shape. Dun, 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 dun. Is that a Cuda? I do believe we found the Cudas. Single headlight, double headlight. That one's got a messed up fender. Still got the hood though. I'm ram non ram air. What? The Barracuda. Barracuda. Hmm. What do you think? Truck's not too bad at all. Floors are still intact. It's amazing how that happens down here in Texas, isn't it? There's a charger. Roadrunner. I kind of like the orange one. I'm liking the orange one. Real solid floors. It's probably also a Barracuda. Trees. And nope, it's a Challenger. Yeah, I like this year model. That's nice. Trunk's not too bad at all. Oh, around the back window is rotted. Oh, this quarter's messed up. First. But hey, that could be fixed. And the floor is gone. I thought it was good. Hey, but we do have a van. And guess what? We got a tagger. Maybe you can get something off of that. That is one hard to find project car right there. Both of them. Hell, all three of them. And every one of them over there. How about we just buy them all? How about that? Sounds like a plan. Buy both of those. 
by both the 68 chargers. And that's all I want. It's another charger. More Chrysler stuff over here, I assume. We need to stay in this little clump area, I believe. See if there's anything else. K5s out here. Next, that one says it's the 6.2 diesel. What? Square body parts galore. It is just retarded with square body parts. Okay, there's the Cooter. All right. And just right over here from them. What? 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 What is going on there? Somebody got that Chrysler design boot on the charger here. Custom center console going on. I think it's got a decent trunk. That's just some craziness, isn't it? And no engine. This place is truly immense. There's so much here. So much. I've been here for at least three hours. Still got a lot to see. But you know, for what I'm looking for, I'm pretty happy. Never thought I'd find so much Mopar in one spot. Even a public place like this, that's crazy. Those things should have been gone years ago. So I'm just surrounded by Ford pickups right now. I'm in Ford heaven. If you're a Ford man and you're looking for a certain year model, I'd say they probably got what you want. Got what you need. So now I'm just kind of speed walking. Ooh, here's an old Ford. I like these. There's about 51, two, three, something like that. It's a cool truck. So I'm just doing some speed walking, trying to see what I could find. If I see anything worth your viewing pleasure, then we're gonna continue this baby. If not, man, this thing goes on forever. Let's see. It's a short bed style side Dodge pickup. Still got the front clip. It's just laid forward. That's a cool pickup right there. And then apparently this is where Dodge starts. Oh, that was Ford country. Now we're heading into Ram country. Side. Spotted something pretty interesting. Let's see. Split bumper Camaro. Watch out. I think it's a true split bumper. This would be a good project car right here. Still got the key in it, man. Crank it up, see what it does. Oh yeah. That's a cool.
cool car. Wonder what else is around the shop back here. Abandoned projects. There's a Monte Carlo. That boy's pretty nice too. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go back around the other side. Okay. Now let's go back around the other side. I just wanted to take a picture of that right quick. I said, anything you're interested in, just take a picture of. Let's see what else we can find. Ford wagon. I wonder what's in the shop. Let's go take a peek. Engines. No cars. Just parts. There's your little shorty bus you rode the school in. <laughs> More parts. Glass. Radiators, lights. What do we got out front then? Triumph's cool. There's a yellow banana Corvette. Banana Corvette. Don't look too bad, just needs to be finished. Over here, look at that's the Ford. Big body. I like this Firebird. Pontiac Firebird. That boy is nice. Mustang 5 0. It's a nice Chevy pickup, Apache. It's not too bad right there, is it? It's a Chevy. We like Chevys. And that's about murder she wrote on that one. But check out what's over here on the other side of the banana. Wait till you see this. Because the banana's cool. But we have a red one right now, don't we? So... Ain't no sense in having two of them. Yeah, there is. There's, you can always have three. Why not? <laughs> this ain't what I'm talking about, but look. A demon. How much for the demon? I like demons. Not, not like that, but you know what I mean. The car. That boy's nice. Now, I'm talking about all this. What? 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 And are you kidding me? Boy, look at the Challenger. How many of these things they got? Hello. Blue on blue car. We like blue on blue. Oh, that's not too bad. It's just a... A bumper ding. 
this one's been sheltered. She is pretty nice, pretty straight for the most part. I see he's already got the hood up. Let's see if I can. There you go. Oh, we still got a tag. Small block, AC car. I love it, I love it. I like blue on blue. That boy's on fire. Anybody want a Maverick? Do you like Mavericks? No? What about a 383 Roadrunner? You don't like Roadrunners? No? Okay, what about an RT Charger? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. You want the RT Charger? Well, so do I. I think everybody does. That's why they're going for outrageous prices. It's an automatic car. It's in a console. Black interior. Door handle's no good. 69. Right, 69 or 70. That's 69. Oh, and how much are they going to want for this one? Look at it. Look at it. It's not rusty. It's not rusty. Well, that's cool. She's definitely going to need some love, but... And that's not going to open like that. And I don't bend hoods. Yeah, we got an engine. There's an engine in it. It's a 69 Dodge Charger. Two 68s. A 70. Well, these guys over here are crushing, killing it. Look at this GS. Too bad, not too bad. Getting right back up to the front, but there's still some more to see. There's your fixer up here. It's a nice little two door Buick right here. Like somebody been doing some work to it. I see a Torino. Nice little Torino here. Right up by the road. It's a cool car. Followed by the Studebaker. Fairlane 500. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and get something to drink, recoup AC for a second. 
she's walking another lady around and she said, we're gonna drive around and uh, do some uh, pricing on some cars right quick. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Susan. Susan, I'm Thomas. Thomas what? Thomas Martin. I'm here with Susan Bays. So we're going to go for a ride around here and check out a couple of cars, maybe get some prices. Or at least you can get me some prices. Yeah. We can uh, point out a couple. I do believe I walked everything that I could, you know, that wasn't snake infested, I thought. But everything classic. I didn't look at anything modern, of course. I mean, I still see, I'll still go out here and still see stuff that I'm like, where'd that come from? You know, yeah, and where'd it, that come from? When'd that get there? There's a 74 or 5 right here, the second car. Mm -hmm. Plymouth. Mm -hmm. It's probably a satellite. Did you see the ones at the very end in front of that building down there? In front of the shop? Um, yeah, the ones up under the, here. Yeah. yeah, all those looked in real nice condition. Yeah, he's... Those are his babies. Well, I tell you what, he got the last week. I got him to price them to me for the first time. Uh -huh. I've ever been able to get him to price them. There's something we hadn't seen. It's another Charger and a G Buick GS and this old little twenty-something model. That's cool. A Buick GS convertible. Watch out. So there were some cars over here. And then these. Old time ice cream. Old time ice cream. Charger don't look bad at all. It's like somebody's working on it. An abandoned project. Um, it's I, in real good shape. It though. is. It is. Um, that used to be our office. That was our original office down here. So all that stuff okay. under it was really his, some of his pets and projects. Yeah. Which the man's got projects all over the place. Well, there was that Charger. Was there a Roadrunner right next to it? Mm -hmm. The green one. And then there was a white demon there in the yard in front of him. Yeah. And. I mean, there, there's a Firebird up there that's got a. Um, it's that like a, yeah, the so. bend is like a five. It's a very low number. Yeah. Well, if it's low number, then that's worth some money. Yeah. I got Jeep Wagoneers from the Wagoneer State out here. Right yeah. there. I mean, just, just about anything you can almost think of. Just about. Yeah. There's not many times somebody comes to me looking for a make or a model of a vehicle that I don't have something. I mean, I may not have yeah. the right gear, I might not have the right part, but. I mean, I've been around, well, just, you know, Charlie was my father-in-law out there and had the Alta Salvage and Alvarado. Uh -huh. and my uncle had one going up. I've been around cars all my life. Yeah, I'm from And Alvarado. there was stuff that when I come out here that I'd never heard of before. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which surprised me because I've dealt with old stuff all my life. Mm -hmm. But there was still some things. I was like, what is that? You know. Right. And there was lots of things that I've heard of but never, never seen until I came out here. Like in person. Right. Did you make it out to these? Yeah, these were... A lot of good them. mixture. I mean, good there's a cooler right in here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, right here is a '68 Charger. This blue one, mm -hmm. real rough. Not like the one that's over there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a '68. But the one I'm really interested in is the one that's over there. This one's a little. I think this one's pretty rough. At the back. The, yeah, this one's pretty rough as it is but then there's another 68 that's over here so that's crazy i'm from alvarado you're from alvarado you live way out here now yeah, i'm not from alvarado but i lived there for years yeah i guess probably for about 12 13 years uh-huh Yeah, I know all the bases. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm related to all the bases. <laughs> <laughs>
So this is a 68 Roadrunner, 70 Challenger, a 68 Charger. So that's the one I really want if he'll sell it to me. I did take some pictures of it from right here, but you're like, what is that? So I took some from the yeah. back. But you'll know about roundabout. That's the car I'm looking at. It's got the tree growing through the yeah. hood. See, what I'll do is, I mean, he's here right now. He's very hard to catch. Yeah. And I will probably, when we get back up there, if he's still here, if I can get you in with him, mm -hmm. I'll kind of go through your pictures. And yeah, well, this is the one I'm mainly interested in. It's like if I was going to buy one car, it's going to be that one. Uh, there's a VIN up there on the dash, but the tag, the fender tag is gone. It has doors. I think that's a trunk inside of there. But it wasn't all beat up. It's stripped. It's probably going to need floors. It needs tires. I'll have to have a record truck pick it up. Yeah. I mean, you'll have to move. He'll have to get it out for me, of course, but I'm sure that's no problem. It got in here somewhere, and I was going to help. Yeah. Um, look at any of these. kind of scattered here. Too. Yeah, I tried to see as much as I could. There's another charger. Yeah, so there's a few more, you know, a few more than they kind of fizzle out after that. Yeah. I think for the most part, that's the one that I want. We can make a deal on that one. And then I can probably help him sell a couple more. Yeah, I've seen one 68 Camaro. And it was sitting next to a Firebird. It was like right over here somewhere. Yeah, that's all y'all had was one that I could find. Yeah, I, just be, I don't think there's that many of those. Yeah. You look all back in this. This is more trucks. Yeah. Older trucks and stuff. Yeah, y'all have a lot of trucks. Still got Pinto. Well, you still got Pinto. I mean, it wasn't a cool car back in the yeah, day, right? That, exactly. That's my thought. That, that Malika Chevette, I mean, it's just you know, yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, while well, we build this bit. Y'all got Pontiac GTOs out here? Um, There is a few scattered. Where? Because i never seen one. Of course, I never came over here. Oh, you never come over here? I didn't come down this far, I don't think. Okay. Maybe I did, well, and I was walking we'll through all this. that. Yeah, we'll make this thing. Because well, I never found that. really just a bunch of Pontiacs, and I'm a Pontiac guy. All kind of mixed in with the GM stuff back there. Yeah. This is more than over the Mopar. There's chargers and calendars. Yeah, and I think I stopped at this truck and went back that way. I know, it goes on forever, doesn't it? Yeah, well, there's actually a fence line right over there. Yeah, I would see the fence line and turn around as far as I'd go. But even, you know, one walk through, you can't see oh, it no, all. Yeah, it's no almost way. impossible. Like I said, I've been out here for years and years, and I can still come in here and find stuff that... You hadn't seen before. Yeah, that I haven't, haven't, didn't know was sitting there. Right over there. We really yeah. Right yeah, and I remember seeing these doors. And the here. Yeah, I remember seeing this green one right up here. It looks pretty complete, pretty solid. You know, the hood up right there. Mm -hmm. You know what he's going for that one? Pretty complete. It is. Yeah, that, that one, that one. 
here and they realize they ain't nowhere. It's got other properties. Yeah, I mean, this is the only one that's got, you know, people to go and look at. So. And yeah. then you look at all these down, these, down this main fence line. Chevelle or a something. GS. A GS. He's yeah. got a lot of GSs. Yeah. Not a lot of them call us though, which is surprising. Yeah. I've got a convertible, a convertible, seventy-two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just those on right there, and then there's. Two more down that end and three more in the that back parting out section. He's bigger on Mopar. Yeah, I can tell. He's got a lot of Mopar. If we can make a deal on that one charger, that'd be cool. Can't buy them all. I'm hoping he's still here because really, we get so many people that are together. He will sell them. He's been oh, and I don't want to sell a number at the car, so I can tell you that. And he, he always does. Yeah. Because he's like, if they're not serious about it, they'll just walk away. If they're serious, they'll start trying to go. He didn't give me any prices on anything. He just wants to think about it for a little while. So I'm going to give him a call in about a week, see if I can't get a price on one of those 68 chargers, that Cuda, and uh, maybe some other stuff. But he was a little standoffish. So. Things happen. Maybe I can make a deal for the charger. Maybe not. We'll see. Hey, but I appreciate you walking with me today. See anything you like in the video? Hey, give me a call. Appreciate it. Hit that like, subscribe, check out the merch if you haven't already. Got new merch coming soon. Thanks.